All right, guys, today we are going to be talking about how you can practi practically and reasonably carry more paracord for survival situations. Now, as always, before we get into this, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon, the Instagram, the, you know the drill, guys. The support means a ton and it is heavily appreciated. So without any further ado, let's talk about this system. So let's talk about some different ways you can carry more paracord. Now, I actually get a lot of comments uh, asking, you know, how I can, or to show off in more clarity, you know, the different lanyards and stuff that I do for extra paracord in wilderness survival situations. So I thought that I would actually show off some of this stuff and kind of take a deep dive. This isn't going to be exactly a a tutorial but more just an inspiration and list. I'll kind of go over in slow how to do a lot of these uh, or how I'll kind of slowly show you guys what these look like because a lot of them you can duplicate pretty easily and I'm no paracord weaving expert. I used to be but uh, I just try to do really simple things to add extra paracord usually to sheaths of my knives. So this one of course is my cold steel SRK. As you guys can see, it is one of my go-to survival knives. And of course I added quite a bit of paracord. So essentially all I did here was I did a traditional X pattern, both front and back, though it looks a little bit weird in the back because when I did my X's in the back or after I finished doing my X's, as you guys can see here, I just took the additional remaining paracord and ran it back and forth. And then I ended up finishing it with a couple knots on both sides. Once again, really easy but if you do something along the lines of this so long as you don't need the back of your sheath for anything in particular it actually adds a tremendous amount of ability to carry extra paracord i think there's like 10 feet of paracord on this here knife so really does add a lot of extra ability to this blade uh, and especially carrying paracord especially uh, carrying paracord and that is really nice especially because, you know, paracord is kind of like the duct tape of the rope world. So having more of it is better. So that's one example. Another common example that you guys will see a lot on the channel, and I've done another video in specific about this, but this is another good way. Hopefully the camera and the lighting will pick this up. I know it's kind of tricky, but uh, this is another very common way that I like to add a lot of extra paracord to my sheaths. And not only is this a good way to add extra paracord to your sheath, but it also means that you can attach things. Like as you can see, I have this uh, Leatherman sheath added to my Falcon Even A1. And essentially with this setup, all I'm doing here is a simple basic Cobra stitch. So this is just a Cobra weave that you would see like on paracord bracelets. It's very easy. You can Google or YouTube how to do this Cobra stitch, but it's basically just a very tight version of the Cobra stitch or Cobra weave. And I just do it straight down the line of the sheath. Now this doesn't work on every sheath. The sheaths that you do this on or will be the best candidates for these. We'll usually have long stretches of reasonably even uh, like sheath diameter. So you guys can see here, hopefully, that this sheath is reasonably even in diameter here. So other things you can do here if you're having issues making your paracord work is as you guys can see, or at least stay in position, I also added some rubber inner tubing. And not only does that help with survival tasks, but also that is very grippy, very sticky. So it can act as kind of an intermediary substance between your paracord and your plastic to add grip to both sides. Once again, I've done this strategy with things like my Conspool, my Condor Pterosaur, obviously the Falcon even A1, which is this, and a handful of other sheaths. Uh, it's a really easy way to add paracord and survival ability or paracord to your sheaths for survival. So other things that are a little bit more basic that you can do are, you know, just simple ties like this. Once again, on this one, I don't have anything uh, too fancy here, but a lot with a lot of these intersecting X patterns that you can do on sheaths, you can also, once again, take, you know, the end of your sheath and run or the end uh, uh, kind of end loops or holes or rivets or whatever you'd like to call them. Uh, you can run them you know, you can run extra paracord through here back to your original stitch and, you know, kind of do an interlacing pattern 
to have more buildup of cordage if that's something you want. Other things you can do too when considering um, the survivability or kind of factoring in how you carry the knife. These Baldrick rigs are not a bad option for extra paracord storage. Either A, you can have a leather Baldrick rig that is paracord wrapped for extra paracord, or in this case, you can make a paracord Baldrick rig and you can make it with a little bit of extra paracord as a whole for uh, use in a type of for use as extra survival cord. So you can do a plethora of different things. The biggest one that I usually stay away from, and it might kind of surprise people, is I usually don't tend to run much paracord on my um, lanyards. And that's because while a handful of my lanyards do have survival cord or are um, built with that in mind to be torn down for use as potential survival cord. I find that oftentimes when you make um, long or built up lanyards, they actually end up being more of a detriment because they can hurt you while you're chopping or they just get in the way and they're too long. So I usually stick to making most of my paracord or paracord lanyards very short. And while I suppose you could potentially do something with this, probably not the best use of this. Um, this probably would not be very useful for survival. However, like I said, there are many ways that I carry a meaningful amount of survival cordage in other ways. So anyways, guys, that's how I usually make most of my sheaths on most of my survival or dedicated wilderness blades more capable of carrying extra paracord. This can be done in a many different fashions. And once again, I'm just trying to give you guys some examples. These are by no means the only ways to do this. There's many different ways that you can solve these problems. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed taking a look at it. Like I said, I get a lot of requests showing how to do this, how I do it. So I thought I'd break down a few examples of trends that I usually do that add extra cordage. And sometimes it's just kind of for artistic flair uh, to complement sheaths. But most of the time it's for pretty practical things like either adding mounts or attachments to sheaths that don't have those capabilities already or of course adding paracord for extra cordage in survival situations. As always guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. God bless and I'm out.